I have had a few questions of how I'm actually running the JL 12.0. Well, instead of telling you, I'll just show you it. This is a 220 watt amplifier, supposedly. If it can run a 200 watt sub, then I'm sort of believing it. Um, has the obvious power and you know ins and outs and ins. But it doesn't have any outputs of them. It's just high level in. You have to go straight from your speakers to it. And this goes a weird phase knob. I don't get how it works. When it does, it only works on 0 and 100 A. Here's frequency 40 to 180. Uh, you know, obviously volume. Um, if my camera wants to focus, there. Um, yeah, it takes it. 100, 250. And 240 volts, 50 hertz. Obviously, it's a big step up from going to America. Yeah. You can pick one of these in Melbourne up for 70 bucks. It's not too bad for what you get. Um, yeah. I actually want to get me a new one because I've kind of broken this one. Um, nah, I'm not going to take that off. I'll probably break something again. But I got one of my. Uh, it's an old subwoofer cable. Not this one, not that one, but another one. Got it, this pin stuck in the. What? Got the pin stuck in there. If I get it out, that'd be amazing because then I could use both of these because it sounds weird with just one because it doesn't go loud. But yeah. That's my normal setting. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, 250 volt fuse. If it takes any more than that, it'll blow up. And, yeah, and, you know, I've re screwed it. And thanks for watching, Hans.